Hey, today we're going to make a nice sirloin roast in the slow cooker. I'm going to use the Kasori multi-cooker set on a slow cooker setting and I'm going to roast this two pound sirloin roast. This is a nice piece of meat. It's two pounds at nine dollars a pound. The price of meat, as you know, is rising. So it may be a smaller roast than I would have normally bought, but we have plenty of good veggies to put in the pot with it. I'm going to use some fresh organic carrots, some nice white potatoes from our local farm, a good size Vidalia onion, and I'm going to top it off here while we're cooking with some tomato soup, some beefy onion dried soup mix, and a little bit of beef broth. And this is reduced sodium and fat-free beef broth. To get started, take the slow cooker here and we're going to turn it on to brown. I'm using a little avocado oil to get the roast started. I'm using extra virgin avocado oil today and this is cold pressed and the reason I'm using this is it's for high heat cooking. So a little avocado oil in the pan. And we have it set on brown. As it's warming up, we're going to get the roast out of the cryo back package here and get it into the hot oil. I'm not going to trim any fat off of this meat because there's very little fat on it. But let's get it into the pan. Also going to use some salt and pepper on each side of this meat. As we turn it, we we'll salt and pepper it. As we turn it, we'll add some of the seasoning. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up the carrots, potatoes, and onions into large size chunks. <clears throat> All right, you can hear the sizzling going on here. Turn it a little bit. Also season the side. There we go. Nice crunchy brown surface is what we would like. Just like this. Alright, All right. I cut up the potatoes with the skin bone. Same with the carrots. I want this to have a little bit of a rustic feel to it today, like a pot roast. Even if we're using a sirloin, I'm going to start spreading them out around the meat. And I'm leaving this on the browning feature until I get the pot fully loaded. And then Put it on and even we spread all this out here. There's some carrots on some areas and potatoes all evenly spread out. I'm going to that look. Now my next step, I'm going to add tomato soup. I'm adding one can of tomato soup, Campbell's, without being diluted. I'm going to just spread this out on the meat, although it will melt and run down. Spread that around. 
it gives you a base for which your next ingredient to stick to a little bit. The next ingredient is a pack, is one pack of beefy onion recipe soup and dip mix from Lipton. This is one of my mom's original recipes that I ate growing up. <laughs> Very so good. I'm just going to sprinkle this on top of the rice. And this has dried onions and seasoning. Okay, I'm going to use the can to add two cans full of this nice low sodium beef broth. And we're going to pour it just down the sides. Now there's a lot of liquid in here when we're finished, but that will become the sauce that we use over top of the meat when we serve it later on today. All right, let's get the lid on here. And this is one of my favorite kitchen tools, the Kasori multi-cooker. It works in many ways, but right now we're going to take it off of the browning mode and we're going to set it on slow cook on low. So now it's a slow cooker, kind of like a crock pot. <laughs> it's going to cook at 182 degrees for eight hours. Start. Now this already has a start at being warmed up and that's the reason I left it on browning mode while we were preparing this recipe. So it's on its way and we'll be back in eight hours when dinner's ready. Okay, welcome back. Our supper's ready. It's been about eight hours gone by and the sirloin roast has finished up its cooking time temperature of it is well done. Let's take it out and put it on a plate with the vegetables. All right, let's take a look inside the pot. Ooh, look at that. Kasori did a great job again. Let's get it out of the Kasori slow cooker, multi-cooker. All right, I'm going to try to pick it up in one piece. And we'll fill in with some other vegetables here. Nicely roasted carrots and potatoes and onions to go alongside. And now since we used some of those seasonings in the juices, you can see how nice and dark brown the gravy is. All right, let's cut it and see what it looks like. All right, let's slice it. Nice and tender. Wow. So a sirloin roast. I usually slice that rather than pull it apart and serve it with the potatoes and carrots. Boy, it sure smells good. A lot of nice slices out of this. Slow cooker sirloin roast with roasted root vegetables. Nice brown sauce to serve it. Dip your nice crusty bread in with that. <laughs> That's good. Hope you like this recipe and you have a chance to give it a try. It's kind of old school, really nice basic Sunday dinner. Thanks for watching.